dear brothers and dear sisters, this is the third out of 15 sessions of prayer and topics for prayer in the context of the Global Prayer Call. I do hope and I pray that you kicked off well. And now let's continue to seek the Word of God about how we can pray for Israel, which is the main topic for the first six weeks. The week number three topic is pray for the church to become a source of deep comfort for the Jewish people. It is out of this gratitude and of our humble compassion that we can pray for the third point. That the global church of Jesus may become an abundant source of comfort for the Jewish people worldwide and for the people of Israel today in particular. The Bible gives Christians a very powerful calling and mandate to do exactly that. We read in Isaiah 40, the verses 1 and 2. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim that her heart service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for and that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sin. In other words, the time of judgment is over. The time of comfort has began. With the restoration of modern Israel, the time of restoration, the time of comfort has come and we as Christians are called to be the major source of comfort outside of God himself for the Jewish people. It is amazing to read if you take care of it and look at it, that God is speaking to a people that is not the Jewish people. A people that is asked and challenged by God, comfort ye, my people. Who could it be outside of the Jewish people? It must be a people that knows the God of Israel and that knows the word of God. So I believe it's us. It's us to be the source of comfort to the Jewish people and to the Jewish soul and to Jerusalem in specific. So this is a word to the church to the church for our time. The time in which Jewish people from around the world are being regathered by God to their ancient homeland. The time in which Jerusalem is being restored as the Jewish capital of a Jewish Israel. After the tragedy of the Holocaust just 70 years ago, comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, has become a word of commissioning for millions of Christians and hundreds of Christian ministries around the world. It was indeed the cornerstone of the ministry that I am part of, Christians for Israel. Let us pray that the global church of Jesus will be touched and transformed by the love of Jesus for his own people, as expressed in these beautiful words, Comfort ye, comfort ye my people. Amen. <laughs>